Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial, we are going to find a solution to this simple trigonometric equation. We ask to solve the equation sine 2 theta is equal to negative sine theta. Alright, let's get started. From the left hand side, you can clearly see that this is what double angle identity for sine, which can be written as 2 multiplied by sine theta cos theta. And you can simply bring this one to the left, it becomes positive sine theta and the whole of this equal to zero by factorization because we have sine theta in common so we can bring one out we have sine theta outside inside from the first time we have two cos theta from the second time we have one if we divide all of the two times by sine theta and this is equal to zero we have two factors multiplying each other and the result is zero it implies either the first one, which is sine theta, is equal to zero, or the second one, but we can take one to the other side and divide by two, or cos theta is equal to negative one divided by two. If you take one to the other side, it becomes negative, you divide both sides by two. So these are the two equations we need to solve separately, but you should also know that zero is positive, and sine is positive in the first and the second quadrant. Therefore, we can also obtain another solution in the second quadrant as what? Sine of what? Pi minus this angle theta will still give us zero. And for the other one, you know, uh, this is negative where cosine is negative is in the second and third quadrant. So we can have cosine of 2 pi minus this theta will still give us negative 1 divided by 2. So we need to solve these two equations separately, likewise this. So let me start with the first two here to the left. For convenience, let me draw a unicycle. If you have a cycle like this, you know here we have a coordinate as 1, 0. And we have it here as negative 1, 0. Sign of what angle is 0? You know sign depends on y axis. And this is where we have 0 and this. And the angle here is 0 while this is pi. So at 0 and pi we have 0. Because sine of 0 is 0 and sine of pi is also 0. So how can we obtain this solution? We can take this angle as reference. But once you add pi it will take you back to this. Add another pi it will take you back to this one. Add, keep on adding pi's. So you can see that the solution to all of these two equations together theta is equal to 0 plus pi and you can multiply by k for which k is an integer but if you like you can solve this one separately because uh, pi minus theta if you take sine inverse of both sides it's still going to give you 0 and you take negative theta to the other side theta will be pi so instead you can solve this separately you have 0 and you have pi here and you know, I told you once you add pi from 0, it will take you to pi. Add pi, it will take you back to 0 and so on. So instead, you can write it like this or you can simply write it as pi k. They're all the same because 0 plus pi k is still pi k. So we are done with the first solution. Let's go to the second one. So let me start with this equation. By taking cosine inverse of both sides from that first equation, theta will be equal to what? 2 pi divided by 3 and you know you can always add multiples of 2 pi for which k is an integer and the second one if you take um, cosine inverse of both sides you have 2 pi minus theta will still give us what 2 pi divided by 3 and you make theta the subject it will be theta equal to 2 pi minus 2 pi divided by 3. 3 times 2 is 6 and 6 minus 2 is 4. Therefore theta is equal to 4 pi divided by 3. Remember to add multiples of 2 pi. So we have in general three solutions. Theta could be pi k, right? It could be 2 pi divided by 3 plus multiples of 2 pi. And also, it could be 4 pi divided by 3 
plus multiples of 2 pi and hence these are just the solutions to this problem thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye